I challenge Les Mascos to a 1v1 winner-takes-all duel uh, where we can only bring three mana drops into play. So we battle it out uh, and let's get into the video. If you are um, interested in playing duels like this with um, random ideas, then you can come into the Discord channel and um, go into the midweek brawl. And there we can have, you can like extend your gameplay of GU by having all these random things with people to play with. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so it looks like uh, he picked death as well. So I'm guessing we're both running zombie decks. I mean, it's the perfect thing for three drops. It's like the strongest three three mana card in the game, probably. Okay, so I mean, we're just going to go looking for it, first of all. And and the Bronze Serpent's good because then we can take out his. Uh, Soul Shardson, I actually don't mind that because we can just... If we can get that out early and have it stick on the board, then our Cursed Obelisk is going to get massive value with those 3-2 uh, experimental outcomes. Okay, I mean, yeah. We both got to skip the first turn. This is a decent card, Hunger Daemon. I, I, um, basically, it destroys a friendly creature, and this creature gains its strength and health. Uh, I just really discovered this card when building this deck, and but I think it's like has some serious potential maybe in combination with like a structure or something because like imagine you drop like a, a, a zero six structure um and then of course that doesn't get the attack but it gets all the benefits of a structure which is like lots of stats um so if the hunger daemon can like steal those stats i think that's pretty decent okay He's running the Hunt Wardens too. I bet this is going to be like a mirror matchup. Uh, I really want to get the Soul Shotterton out there, but maybe it's just a little too early. Um, what we could do, though, is get the Obelisk out. Actually, I like the Soul Shotterton. I mean, if he wants to trade into it, that's totally fine. It's just a great card. It's a good. It's it's the same stats as his three four. Um, and then we also, but we also will be able to pop the ability once. Because if he hits it once, you're, oh, mutual hatred, great card. But at least he doesn't mutual hatred our cursed obelisk. So, um, I'm gonna save our mutual hatred for his cursed obelisk. I'm actually gonna get two zombies here. I think this might be. Uh, I mean, the first one to get the obelisk down, it's got to be, it's got to be a win, right? Okay. <laughs> this has got to be GG's here. I mean, th three mana cards for death are just so good. I, I, I bet that there's a way to actually run this in, in, uh, in play. Okay, so we, for sure, Bronze Servant. Um, then we have to strike here and might as well just keep hitting face, keep some bodies on board because let him get to our back line here, which is the obelisk. I mean, this literally just feels like a zombie deck at this point. Like you, oh, you pretty much the only really turn you might miss is turn one, but you, you can miss that a lot of time with your zombie deck with your zombie deck anyways um because turn two you're gonna have for sure a play turn three you're gonna have a play turn four you're gonna play a card and a god power so your, your first three turns on are the after the first turn are like completely perfect on curve but yeah it's, i mean obviously there's some bomb one drops in death too white bomb Um, we can d get to 12 here. I would love to get, okay, so let's clear some bodies off the board. Um, one, kind of want to save this. We, yeah. We 
get the hunger damage out. Why not? Go oh, five five. It's gonna be really hard for him to deal with that. And then we'll just hit full board again. I'm trying to save up for that uh, rune of strength there. I'm trying to figure out a way to get it, but. Damn, I really love this card. It's like a three drop. Big body on board. It's great for like, if you want to come up with a way to um, make a make a more narrow board. Because that's a, that's a big problem that a lot of zombie decks have. Is the board is really wide, but not strong. So something like that, which is only three cost, can narrow your board down. It's also good because you, you run out of space a lot with your zombies anyway, so you can get those stats, you get a full board again, but now you have a big creature. Okay, so let's uh, get a rune of strength here. And we can start trading. Double Bronze Servant. Curious to see his deck list after this. Hot tea. Okay, his obelisk is... <laughs> But we got the mutual hatred out. Oh my god, he's also running a diligent architect. <laughs> Is there anything that we don't have in our deck that he's ran so far? No, I think we have everything so far that he's run. I mean, this was from the Sanctum. So random. It wasn't supposed to be, like, anything specific. Just happened to be like this. Actually, I'm going to grab this Falcas. Play our zombies with it. Alright, this is GG. There's no, there's no AoE, of course. You have two little mana. Wait, what? He delved that Labyrinth card? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I, I don't really even know what to do here. Um... I guess we just slowly start taking it out. Um, we can maybe go for a delve ourselves. That might might get something that can take it out. Um, these are pretty bad. I mean, we could get a Miasmic Forge. Rip. Backline, can't attack. Whenever you summon a creature, give it plus one armor, but at the start of your turn, you deal two. Oh my god, he's got a Watchtower of Agrador delved. Rip. Um, okay, so what do we have to do? I mean, let's just... First of all, let's ram this into there. Um, we have to delve something because that Watchtower of Agador is just going to go crazy on us. Um, all seems fire. We don't need the card draw, weirdly enough. Um, Gargoyne, no. Runaway Trebuchet. This is brutal. I mean, I guess we all see Inspire and just maybe we get something. I don't know. Um, um, what could we do? We could either drop the Miasmic Forge and be getting armor on our dudes, but we don't really have a way to buff them. So
Damn, shot down by one armor. That's that's like that is zombie decks right there. <laughs> one armor shuts you down. I mean, we're we're getting there. It was a four ten. Okay, Hunt Warden can maybe push through. So he's going with the Tainted Trion for the for the card draw. Okay, a Hunger Daemon is actually, I actually like this because let's get, I can get a 5-5 five, five here. Um, Some reason though I can't play it, so I gotta do this, uh, and then I can do that. So that's a four four. I can kill that. Um, I guess miasmic forge. No, too late. Weird. This is like super buggy. <laughs> One two three four. Little space and two. Okay, so we have the ability to take out his labyrinth card. If I was him, I think I would have killed the Hunger Daemon instead of that with the Mutual Hatred. Because this is the only way I have, the only thing I have to get through the uh, Labyrinth Guard there. This Agridower Protector is just going to win the game because <laughs> there's nothing I can do against these. Okay. okay. I mean, we have a couple of good stat creatures here. It's weird. You wouldn't think that you would have too many cards with this um, deck. Like, we have weirdly too many cards. Okay, so we can finally kill this thing. Um, there's no point in ramming it into there. I would say we start getting zombie apocalypse here because... Um, I don't know, actually. Start ramming them in there. I'm actually going to get this guy. This guy is going to do serious work for us here because it's a deadly um, spell locust, which means we can like, start actually dealing with everything, and it comes back onto the board. Because afterlife, at the start of your next turn, choose and obliterate a card. Wait, are we gonna overdraw? He's gonna overdraw us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> He's gonna he overdrew us and we only have three mana cards. Wow. Brutal. Actually, that that obliterate thing might come into play here. Start of your next turn. He killed it. Yeah. So I think we're we're gonna actually be able to obliterate. Depends on if we draw first or obliterate a card first. If we obliterate a card first, let me see. Oh my god, we lost mutual hatred. And then we get to obliterate. Oh my god. Whoa, that's horrible. Okay. Um what do we not need? Bronze Gate. Actually, Bronze Gate is good against these zombies. Um, let's get rid of a Dune Calvary. I don't know. Okay. I guess we Necro. Let's get the Miasmic down because then it's going to give armor to our, um, to our little dudes here. Hunt Warden. Look at that, it's a 3-4 with armor. This Miasmic Forge actually might come in clutch here. Wait, this is like actually, it's only two mana? 
Whenever you summon a creature, give it plus one armor. The start of your turn, deal two damage to your god. This, I don't know why this card doesn't really see more play. Damn. It's like a really good card. Okay, so the one thing that he has a problem with, I guess, here is two of his thingies are, are uh, two of his creatures are structures. So he can only attack with four at a time. I wonder if I get rid of his Cursed Obelisk here with the Mutual Hatred. Or if I get rid of an Egridor Protector. I mean, I want to ram this into the Watchtower of Egridor. 100%. Okay, so... We need zombies, that's for sure. So first of all, let's just ram this here. Um, let's take out his Curse Obelisk, because he's, he's low on health here, so... Actually, now we're low on health, though. And he can do a bunch of damage. The Bronze Gate will have two armor on it, which would be really brutal to deal with. Uh, and then we'll have a 2-2 zombie again with armor. This Miasmic Forge is brutal. Okay, so the Bronze Gate with two armor is actually going to stop a lot of his onslaught. I don't think he can get through it. Because these will do nothing. The Agrodor Protector could do one damage. But he has infinity, infinity of them. Wait a minute. Balka's Discovery removes backline. I wonder, did you guys see that? <laughs> oh my god. I always forget that Valka's Discovery also removes backline. It's like I think of it as like a hidden and um, one damage remover, but it actually removes backline. That's nuts. So that Agrador, uh, Watchtower Agrador is Gonzo next turn. Because we even have the Deadly Guy coming back on the scene. Okay, Fickle Cambion's coming up, that's nice. Um, okay, so I have to... It's nice to have the extra draw every turn with the All-Seeing Spire because I have to get rid of a card every time because of my... Um, yeah, my, my I guess my Miasmic Forge is also killing me. But Okay, so... Before anything else, we're going to deal one damage to everything and remove backline. But actually, no, wait, let me just think here. We got to protect face somehow, but we also need to do damage. Can he get through this next turn? Yes, he can, which is bad for us. So we need another bronze gate, unfortunately. Um, maybe we kill the all seeing spire. I mean, we got to grab some health, so I'm just going to do this because we're going to get a zombie back anyways. Um, and I'll just keep getting zombies because we need the health. So he's going to get through this this turn. I, sh I should have ran it into the this Egredor Protector because at least it would have died. Okay, but this dude is awake next turn. The Thanacharis, which means... Oh my god. How did he get that elephant? Oh my god, the tainted treant. Of course. We're donezo. We need to get rid of this tainted treant now. Okay. Um Death Watch Elder might. Help us here. I think we're done. Rip.
Oh my god. We still can't do it though because it hasn't even though we got rid of its back line, there's still front lines. <laughs> um That's it. He wins. Oh my god, what a game. <laughs> I mean, we got pretty close. We did get pretty close. I can't believe we got to this far in the game, honestly. Brutal. All right, so I got completely stomped there. But uh, Les Maskos also made a deck challenge video. He challenged me to another deck building contest. Um, and if you want to see that, you can check out his video and I'll leave a link for it. But with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.